Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Quick Tech Solutions. Today, on Tips and Reviews, I'd like to go over Unify Controller version 5.4.9 and how to go about upgrading on a cloud based controller hosted on Amazon Web Services. So I'm at Ubiquiti's community blog page, and you can see they just released a stable version of Unify 5.4.9. Let's go down through the page and see what they have to say. First and foremost, make sure you always do a backup before any updates. That goes without say. Guys, make sure you check out the release notes. There seems to be a lot of good information here. For example, for people who are migrating from version 3, there are many changes to the APIs. Windows users must have x64 Java installed as we only support 64-bit WebRTC library. There's information for Debian Ubuntu users. As you scroll down the page, oh, so there's some new features in this version. Import export sites. Hot, hotspot portal with Google Facebook authentication that's in beta. And they added support for US-16-XG. It also lists the controller bug fixes from the previous versions, 5.4.8, as well as a whole slew of changes from version 5.3.11, which only recently came out a little while ago. As you scroll down, there seem to be some firmware changes and some bundled software, and bundled firmware, I should say, and then, of course, your download links for Mac, Windows, Linux, etc. Guys, if you haven't already... Uh, subscribe to the Ubiquity blog. It's a good idea. They'll notify you of releases like this and other alerts, and you could also get involved in discussions and forums with other Ubiquity users. So it's a great resource to um, have at your fingertips. Okay, I'm at the dashboard of my Unify controller. Let me show you how to do a quick backup before we walk through the upgrade process. Simply click on the settings icon down in the lower left hand corner. Then select Maintenance. On the Maintenance screen, about halfway down the page, you'll see Backup. You can click on the Download Backup button. Leave it set for seven days, that's fine. The backup is downloading, and that's as simple as it is, guys, to do a backup of the Unify controller. Okay, now that we have our backup, let's go ahead with the process of upgrading the controller. I've already done the upgrade. I'm at 5.4.9, and I can tell you it went very smoothly. It's really only two commands. Let me bring up my terminal window. And I use terminal because I'm on the Macintosh platform. Windows users I know like to use a program called PuTTY, and that'll work just fine as well. Once signed in to my Unify controller, all you have to do is two commands. The first is sudo apt get update it goes out it looks for any updates and processes them once the processing is done the second command to install the unify controller is sudo apt get install unify now i've already done the upgrade so it's going to tell me i'm at the newest version had i not done the upgrade it would ask me if I have a backup, which of course all of you will have, and then it will go ahead and process the installation. So let me go ahead and finish. And you can see it does tell me I have the new version, but um, that's it guys. It's a really simple two-step process to upgrade the controller in the cloud. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content of this nature, subscribe to my channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.